Hi everyone, let's provide a solution to this problem, x to the power of x, right, equals 4 to the power of x plus 4. We want to get the value of x from here, and um, what do we get? The first thing we're going to do is um, to make sure that we bring the terms with x to one side. And we can simplify this again so that we'll have 4 to the power of x multiplied by 4 to the power of 4. Okay, so that... If you pick one of the bases, you're going to have this 4, then you add the powers because it is multiplication here. Okay, now the next thing I will do is to divide both sides by 4 to the power of x. So I will divide this by 4 to the power of x, then divide this by 4 to the power of x. This will go with this. And if that happens, we have x to the power of x over 4 to the power of x being equal to 4 to the power of 4. Right? Now, the next thing that we must know is if we have this, we can combine this and let them have the same power. So we have x over 4 here to the power of x. Okay, so this will be raised to the power of, this will be equal to 4 raised to the power of 4. And now from here, what if we try to remove this power from here? Okay, if we try to remove this power, it's going to be um, x over 4 to the power of x multiplied by 1 over x. Right. Then on the other hand, we have 4 to the power of 4 raised to the power of 1 over x. Now, this will go with this one. So that what will be on the left hand side is x over 4. Then on the right hand side, you know, when you have this kind of bracket and you have power in and out, they are expected to multiply each other. So 4 times 1 over x will give us 4 over x. So on the left, we have 4. On the right, we have 4 to the power of 4 over x. Right? So this is what we have. And now, we have x over 4 here. We have 4 over x here. Now, what if we say, let's... Let um, y be equal to x over 4, right? Anywhere we see x over 4, we will write y. But then, we can work on what we have here, okay? Because what we have here is a reciprocal of what we have here. So if y is x over 4, that means 4 over x will be 1 over y. I hope we can understand this. So now, to go ahead, we're going to have, in place of this, we have t, and we are using y. So we have y to be equal to, here we have 4 to the power of 4 over x will now be 1 over y. Right? Now, my next target is to remove this power from here. Right? So that it will come and meet with the y. And to remove that, this is y being equal to 4 to the power of 1 over y. Now, to remove the power, we raise it to the power of y. And now that I introduced this, it has to be on the left-hand side too. Now, we multiply. So, this is going to be y over y as the power. So, y can cancel y. So, we have just 4 over there. Right? So, from here now, we are going to have um, y to the power of y equals 4. Okay, so if we go ahead again, 
we can simplify what we have here or we can write this in index form so that y to the power of y will be equal to 2 to the power of 2 and from here we compare we're going to compare what we have here by comparison we have from from the power y is equal to 2 and from the base y is also equal to 2 so therefore y is equal to 2 but if you look at the equation let's take a look at the equation again if you look at the equation given there is no y in the equation we were looking for x so let's go back and get the value of x okay okay so we already have our y to be equal to 2 okay so now our y is equal to 2 and we said that y is also equal to x over 4 right so this means that in place of this y i'll write x over 4 and it will be equal to 2 on the right this is standing for y and y is equal to 2 from our calculation this is over 1 cross multiply so we have x to be equal to 8 and like we always do we verify our result so let's proceed to the verification stage right the given equation is x to the power of x equals 4 to the power of x plus 4 right and then our x is now 8 so that means from here now we have 8 to the power of 8 and on the other hand we have um, 4 to the power of x is 8 then we have plus 2 I mean plus 4 now looking at this can we tell that the left hand side and the right hand side are equal let's take a step further this will be 4 to the power of 12 right and then to work on this we we are going to pick um let's see what we'll do okay so we want to know whether this and this are the same right okay let's do it this way a to the power of 8 minus 4 to the power of 12 what will it give us you can use calculator to confirm because these two are large numbers right so 8 to the power of 8 minus 4 to the power of 12 is equal to 0. So that means that we are very correct. The left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Thank you for watching.